Hi friends, so I have um, been getting some questions about what can I eat, what can't I eat, and I think it's just better to make a video. Sometimes reading everything, at least for me, reading everything just isn't a go. My boss knows that about sending me emails, sorry Paige. But, um, so let's go ahead and talk about the things that you can eat, okay? So there is a list, I have a list of things that you can eat, things that you can't eat, and um, I can also go ahead and post these to our group on Facebook. But let's go ahead and start talking about the things that you can't eat. I guess that's gonna be easier to go over that. But you're thinking dairy, so no milk, no cheese, no yogurt, no milk, <laughs> cheese, yogurt, um, any other dairy products that like really are like heavily pasteurized, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. It's not a part of this diet, that's not gonna help us get to where we wanna go. Um, so the next thing is gonna be like your grains. Um, so your breads, your oatmeals, anything like that, also no. Please feel free to continue to reach out to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and like read you a list of fun things that maybe you haven't thought of that you can eat, okay? So for meats, you have poultry, red meats, um, your white meat, so chicken, turkey, duck, geese, fowl, I'm not gonna read the rest of those, and then egg, because I don't know if any of you are gonna have emu, ostrich, or partridge. Um, for your red meat, you have beef, lamb, venison, veal, goat, bison, elk, buffalo. So the, the other thing that I will say is um, if you've not tried some of these meats, this is a great time to enrich your palate. I had never tried belt, uh, bison, buffalo, or elk before switching over to this challenge. And man, they are so good. Bison's actually probably my favorite meat. It's very um, delicate, it's really light, and it's not fatty, so I really enjoyed that. And then others for me, it would be like yak, moose, pork, rabbit. Okay, this one says rattlesnake, alligator, reindeer, turtle. I, I will give you guys extra credit if you eat any of those. Okay, so, so for seafood you have Catfish, anchovy, mahi mahi, mackerel, prawns, cod, bass, swai, shad, pollock, cuttlefish, sole, char, marlin, flounder, lamprey, shark, oysters, mussels, swordfish, halibut, salmon, snapper, barracuda, tuna, scallops, crawfish, whitefish, uh, trout, octopus, crayfish, bluefish, haddish, milkfish, squid, perch. Um, shrimp, sardines, clams, walleye, tilapia, sunfish, lobster, and crab. Those, that's a lot of different foods that you can incorporate. Vegetables, oh my gosh, this list is super long, so I'll go a little fast. You'll have to hear a little fast too. So, leafy greens, you have kale, spinach, lettuce, arugula, bok choy, beet greens, chard, mustard greens, uh, radishes, turnip greens, parsley, parsleys, watercrests, collard greens, dandelion greens, cabbage. I should have done some mouth stretches so I could talk. Um, carrots, sweet potatoes. So these are going to be like your starchies. These are your safe starchies. Um, your carrots, sweet potatoes, yams, parsnips, taru, cassava, and yuca. So um, you'll see a lot of chips out there or... Uh, recipes with cassava um, flour, try it. That's the other thing I really want you to get all your cooking utensils, your baking utensils out and get creative. I'm going to ask one of our coaches to share what she does. She is so creative when it comes to these challenges. Like she sends me her food log and I'm blown away and I'm just like, oh my gosh, can you come here and cook for me? Because every night she has thighs or chicken legs and this crazy casserole combination or this other she sends pictures and I'm just like what is this and it looks like restaurants her and her husband love to cook it's one way that they can connect and maybe this is something that you never realized that you love to do or maybe your significant other um, but she uses recipes 
I will put out recipes. I'm gonna keep going with these vegetables. So for squashes, you have butternut, acorn, zucchini, yellow squash, pumpkin, Mexican gray squash, I've never had that, um, deluxe, Delicata squash and spaghetti squash. Um, here's another tidbit. I'm just gonna keep throwing these in. If you never tried any of these and you like have that toddler mentality that you don't like them, you are in the wrong. You're probably an adult unless, I don't know. I'm just gonna classify everyone that's doing this as an adult, so act like one. Try something new, get out there. Maybe like you've never had butternut squash or spaghetti squash and you're like, holy cow, this is gonna be my favorite thing ever. Honestly, when I'm out there, and I've had this from a couple girlfriends that are continue, I call them my OGs, but have gone out on vacation um, and have, you know, had to stray from this nutrition stuff, and they come back and they're like, I'm ready to hit the ground. Let's start. Let's start right now. Let's do this. I miss my healthy food. You know why? Because they have started to eat the rainbow, and they realize how delicious it is, and that their body seriously craves it, and it's just so good. Like, for me, yesterday we went to a wedding. I had a piece of cake and I had to stop mid like I had to stop midway and I said, Andrew, like I can't take this anymore. Like I can't take the sugar. I can't take this whatever. And I came home and I made scrambled eggs with salsa and black beans. Cause like that's what my body wanted. It did not want all these processed sugars and whatever. But try things, try them out. Worst case scenario, you don't like it. If it's a vegetable, you didn't kill the animals, so you're fine. Just, it's not going to be a waste. You're trying new things. You need to get into this mindset that eating healthy is going to get you where you want to go. And that's a whole nother subject that I will attack. Um, okay. So we have more vegetables. We have Brussels, broccoli, broccolini, cauliflower, collarab, broccoli, rob, uh, I'm probably just pronouncing some of these wrong. Rutabaga, horseradish, radish, and then asparagus, eggplant, bell pepper, hot pepper, sweet pepper, artichoke, blossoms, onions, celery, garlic, fennel, leeks, shallots, green onions, cucumbers, woo, beets, bamboo shoots, uh, himaca, or how do we say that in Spanish? Um, hmm. Okay, seaweed, cactus, and I can't remember how we pronounce it. I don't know how to say it in English, but uh, whatever. It'll come to me one of these days, and I'll laugh about not having to say it. Hmm. Hikama, hikama. There we go. Uh, hikama. So coke for fruits. Let's talk about fruits. Here's another thing. I don't know where it came about that fruit's bad for you or you need to moderate your fruit. No. If your body wants fruit, guess what? Eat the fruit. If your body says I want an apple or banana, it's probably because it needs that fructose, which is an okay type of sugar, but it needs that fructose, that sugar for energy. It's a great energy source. It's a clean energy source. Eat the damn fruit, okay? Real fruit, not your canned fruit. Canned fruit's okay, but let's avoid that. Let's go into our healthy fruits. So coconuts, apples, plantains, avocado, watermelon, papaya, bananas, Honeydew, mangoes, grapes, tomatoes, uh, tomatillos, favorite tomatoes, uh, pineapple, cantaloupes, figs, dragon fruit, guava, citruses like your lemons, oranges, limes, grapefruits, tangerines, and then your stone fruit, which is your peach, nectarines, and apricots. Your oils and fats, guys, cook with the healthy ones. Cook with these fats, eat these fats. My body does better when I am eating a high fat diet, meaning that I can eat, I put fat on everything. I put um, olive oil, coconut oil, or avocado, or nuts on everything because my body is like, oh my gosh, we're going to get jacked eating fat, literally. Um, okay, so you have your olive oil, coconut oil, flaxseed oil, walnut oil, Avocado oil, macadamia nut oil, uh, lard, tallow, or ghee. Um, I will allow, this is one one of those, oh, cool. Um, I will allow you to eat grass-fed butter or like, so the brand that I get is the Kerrygold. It's my favorite. And then next you have nuts and seeds. So macadamia, walnut, hazelnuts, almonds, pecans, pine nuts, flax seeds, pumpkins, sunflower, sesame seeds. Um, additionally, remember when I said ish, the reason I say ish is because I do allow chickpeas, kidney beans, black beans, pinto beans, 
navy beans, um, I guess I should have reiterated, chickpeas are also known as garbanzo beans. So um, that is a list of food and I forgot quinoa, I love quinoa. Those foods are not considered paleo, those last ones that I tacked on. Um, however, they are high in antioxidants, they are enriched foods, um, they help with, uh, let's see here. Um, they're also high in protein, sorry. This is why I can't have nice things, I get sidetracked. Okay, so let's see here. Those are the foods you can eat. I'll come up with a list of fun foods for you to put together or recipes or I'll ask my coach to do so and help me out. Continue to reach out to me and ask me any questions that you have on what you can eat and what you can't eat. Remember to show me the actual list of the food in the ingredients. If you can't pronounce it, guess what? The answer is probably gonna be a no. Um, I don't remember if I said that you could have carbonated water, so like your LaCroix, but those are totally okay too. All right, I love you. We got like a couple days until this starts and we're gonna kick its ass.